my name is Kanabu Camilo. I also go by Hezi. I'm a senior psych major here at Gannon and I'm also the president of the Queer Collective. I am also a member of the Black Student Union on campus. Um, besides that, I've done uh, quite a few other things on campus. I was a part of Active Minds at one point. I was also a member of the Jedi Student Steering Advisory Board. Um, I've even written a few articles for the Gannon Knight in my day. Um, initially, we were actually called Life, which is love is for everyone. Um, once I became president, I kind of decided like we need to draw away from that name because we were closely associated with other um, groups on campus that we weren't actually a part of. So I ended up changing the name to the Queer Collective. Um, and as president, basically my job is just to assist with any Anybody that is a part of the community, um, just assist them with anything they need help with, whether it be finding ways to help them feel more comfortable adjusting on campus. We try to educate. Um, we push for a lot of initiatives, so one of the things we've been pushing for is like making sure people are able to use their preferred names when it comes to class and just being here overall in the institution. Um, we've tried uh, educating people on the importance of just getting to know people's pronouns and understanding the how much of an impact it can be with their usage. Um, I go by he, they pronouns. The Queer Collective in and of itself welcomes everybody. So whether you know you are part of the community or whether you know you're just questioning your identity and your sexuality and who you are as a person, or if you are solid and just want to be an ally to support other people in the community. First one would be like my mom. So my mom is a bit of a public figure here in Erie with some of the activism that she does. Um, so she inspired me to be able to really speak out and really try to push for change um, when it comes to just creating a more inclusive and diverse environment and then um, within my own personal circles, my friend, uh, her name is Dom, uh, Dominique Booker. She was actually the VP of Finance um, last year. She was a really big inspiration to me too because she helped me understand that no matter what, no matter what pushback you get, it's important to stand up for what you believe in. And she challenged me to think I, in a more like expansive way, like not just in my shell, think bigger, look at the bigger picture, and look at a variety of different aspects of different ways and different initiatives we can try to enact to be more inclusive to not just the LGBT community, but a lot of marginalized groups on campus. We are planning on collaborating with uh, the Black Student Union. Um, so we talked about potentially having our own version of a roundtable talk discussing um, just marginalized groups in general and certain aspects of that. I know in the past we've worked with um, a few other sororities. We talked about the possibility of working with maybe another like LGBT group. Um, one of the ones we were looking at was potentially working with uh, Penn State Barron's LGBT group. So that's a cool opportunity that could possibly happen. <laughs> I think the highlight of my college experience here so far would probably be last year's Halloween party that the Black Student Union had. It was a time, okay? It, it was really like a really great time. It was just such a mix of everybody from a bunch of different like identities and groups on campus. We all came together and we had such a fun time. Like to me, when I think of college, I think of moments like that that I'll look back on. Like that was really fun. To other students who are a bit hesitant to maybe get out there and participate more on campus or just speak out in general, I would say you really just have to kind of fake it till you make it. Like regardless of whether or not that voice in your head is telling you like don't do it, don't do it. You just have to just do it because the opportunities that arise, they outweigh any of the fears that you might have. I'm hoping that we create 
a legacy here on campus. So the whole goal of the Queer Collective and my goal, which I feel like aligned with it perfectly, was to foster uh, an inclusive community here on campus where we can rely on each other. The former term was safe space, but we've now elevated and we use the term brave space because a brave space just kind of allows others to really be brave and open and honest with not only themselves, but with others around them. Um, I think my next biggest accomplishment is trying to establish that legacy to keep it going because I graduate next year. I want it to be that five, ten years down the line, this group is still going strong and members of the LGBT community can really network and be a part of something great together. I think Gannon's done a pretty good job so far of making us not only feel included, but actively make sure we are engaged and not only in in our own activities, but in collaboration with other groups. We're always invited to do something or attend some meeting or activity with other groups and organizations on campus. And I think that's so important because it shows allyship and, and it helps foster that sense of community here that Gannon's all about. Be authentically you, be yourself, Believe in what you stand for and be solid in your beliefs.